What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. First things first, man, the support on my recipe book has been insane. Never expected this, never expected it to be so crazy, but it is. And for everybody tagging me on Instagram, in your stories, in your posts, whatever, I appreciate you. I'm trying to check out all of them. So tag me, I'll stop by if I can. Before we get this video underway, let's say a quick prayer to the God of anabolic French toast. That's a god walking amongst mere mortals. Anabolic French toast, the staple of a lot of our diets, right? My favorite recipe, probably, hands down. The one that I eat every single day, no matter what. But I had this crazy idea. I was like, how can we take this recipe and make it even better? And after some trial and error, I think we did it. Crispy, delicious, fluffy, filling, full of protein. Anabolic. It's everything we want in a recipe. Like I always say, if you enjoy what you're eating, dieting doesn't have to be hard. New low weigh-in for me today, the lightest I've weighed in this year, and I barely feel like I'm trying trying. As always, if you got the cookbook, link in description. This recipe is now in there with step-by-step -step instructions, the macros, everything. So you know exactly what you got to do step-by-step. -step. So if you guys are ready for anabolic crispy French toast, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! At this point, it's almost becoming a meme, but for this recipe, you're gonna need a mixing bowl and a food scale. Don't go eyeballing it. Now, when I tell you this recipe is easy, I mean it. That's always the goal, right? Make it simple. Shouldn't be hard to do. You don't need a million ingredients. We need 276 grams of liquid egg whites. Optional step, but one I recommend. Eat between three to five grams of a zero calorie sweetener. As always, I use these Splenda knockoffs, also called sucralose in some circles. Zero calories here, man. We don't want that sugar, because you know what sugar does? You have even just a little bit of sugar, your body wants more sugar immediately. That leads to binging. This stuff is sweet, but doesn't have that same effect, but it's going to satisfy all those cravings. Now we're going to add about five grams of cinnamon. Really, it's to your preference. I don't know about you, but I love me some cinnamon. And the last ingredient for the mix here is five grams vanilla extract or imitation vanilla flavor. That was 98 cents at Walmart, man. I don't know why. Everybody hates on Walmart, but if you see it in my video, man, they probably got it at Walmart. That's like where I shop. It may be a zoo in there, but sometimes wrestling with the hyenas is worth eating like a lion. So what we have here now is an anabolic nectar of the gods. We gotta go in with our whisk, give her a nice little whisking. Knock the stuff off the sides, spin, spin, spin. Get that sugar mixed up in there, get that cinnamon mixed up in there, although the cinnamon likes to float on top, so don't be too discouraged by that. You just try to do your best, and when it bubbles up and looks like a sewer that overflowed, that's when you know you got it. Move our anabolic chalice to the side, and now we need four slices of basic white bread. I get asked this question a lot. Is wheat bread better? Is white bread bad for you? And to be completely honest, guys, I used to think that, I used to live that way, and I ate stuff that tasted like crap. And what I realized is it really is the overall balance of your diet. Calories in versus calories out. And if you can enjoy it and stick to it long term as opposed to eating wheat and chewing on it like a sandal, I think that's a win. This is the lowest calorie bread I can find. 120 calories in two slices. Once again, Walmart brand. 88 cents for a loaf of bread. And I know it's like a zoo in there sometimes, but sometimes you gotta eat bananas with the orangutans in order to swim with the sharks. All right, four slices of bread. We're gonna take one slice at a time. We're gonna cut each slice into three pieces. Get you a good knife. Hey, hey, you see that? This ain't hard at all, guys. A lot of people get intimidated by cooking, but it's like anything, man. Remember the first time you tried to go to the gym and you were super intimidated by it? And now you just go and you, you just know what you're doing? That's how cooking is. Don't be afraid to try new stuff, man. I always say this, unless you are super rich and can hire a personal chef to cook all of your meals, if you want to stay lean year round, you're gonna have to learn to cook. You're just gonna. And when you enjoy cooking and you like the foods you're making, this is easy, man. In order to make these French toast sticks super crispy, almost like they were deep fried, we're gonna have to use an air fryer. So the one I'm using for this video is a Ninja Foodi. I got a link in my description if you wanna see the exact model I got. You don't gotta have this one. You just need an air fryer to do this right. This air fryer actually has a two rack configuration here that you can split up. So if you're gonna buy an air fryer and invest in one, there's basket ones that are a little cheaper, but they're only one layer at a time. If you want maximum cooking power, get one that has multiple racks. It's gonna work really good for this recipe. And ones where you wanna cook a lot of food at once, man, which should always be the goal, right? Be more efficient. So here's how we're going to do this, man. I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and lay it down right here on my rack. You don't got to do this, but I need a good thumbnail or you guys aren't going to watch the video. So if you made it to here, smash thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed because we got even more videos coming. You don't want to miss out on any of these, man. But what is necessary, some nonstick spray. And then we got 12 French toast sticks in total. So we're going to take each one, dip it in our batter, get a nice layer. There we go. Let a little bit of the excess drip off and then place it right on our paper. Perfect. And I'm just going to go through 
through with each one. You want them kind of close because we need the room, but you don't want them touching because the way an air fryer works is the air's got to hit every side of it. So you want it to be crispy throughout. Really got to make sure they have their space, man. And voila, that's how you do it. Now I got the top rack on, another piece of parchment paper, and rinse repeat, man. Take all of these, give them a nice little bath, and place it on our paper. Now that we're locked and loaded, what we wanna do, take our basket here, sit it down in the air fryer, hoist, close her up. What we're gonna do is put this in at 400 degrees for eight minutes, we're gonna hit go, and that's it, baby. Catch up on a chapter in a book while you're waiting, do some push-ups, start your novel. The world's your oyster with this eight minutes, man. Use it wisely. Eight minutes, done. All right, let's pull these out with an oven mitt. Boy, smells so good. And I'm gonna show you what the next step is. So pay attention to the difference here. These ones are crispy. These are like perfect. These ones are not done enough yet. So what we want to do to make these completely, absolutely delicious is two things. One, we're gonna swap sides. This is where the parchment paper comes in real handy. So move this over here, move the crispy ones to the bottom, move these ones here, and voila. And then with both of our racks, what we wanna do is go in and then flip every one of them. See how the underside is not as done as the top? Not that you even have to flip them, because they're still good if just one side's crispy, but we're all about just every Everything being legit and anabolic here, boys. Perfect. And then for one final time, we're gonna lower the rack back down in. Everything swapped, rotated, flipped, you know the drill. 400 degrees, eight minutes, and go. When I see you again, these are gonna be ready to roll. While we're waiting, let's give the puppy a treat. Whoa, God. You want a treat, babe? You want that? Take it. Grab it. Oh. And voila, guys, anabolic, crispy French toast sticks are done, man. The only thing we're missing is a little bit of sweet, sweet, sugar-free syrup. Ooh, bingo. You might be thinking, Ram, well, why wouldn't I just make regular French toast with this recipe? Which you can. Grab a skillet, fry it up, make regular French toast. Not saying you shouldn't do that, but if you want to put a twist on it with a lot of protein, a lot of flavor, and you want that, like, hold up, crispiness, then this is the way to go, man, for real. All right, enough talking. Let's see. First off, can we appreciate how much food you get here, guys, right? Look at that. Mountain of food. And the whole thing is, right, with a lot of these recipes that I make, like the cinnamon swirl cake we just had, chocolate chip cookies, is that they're fun. You get to make it, you get to enjoy eating it, get a lot of protein, keep it low calorie you're not having all this sugar that's causing you to have cravings and go on a binge, all that stuff. We're just making this fun, man. Way more fun than chicken, rice, and broccoli. Enough talking, I am starving. We're gonna go with this one right here for numero uno. You guys ready? Three, two, one, let go. Little dip. Wow. Not lying to you guys, right? I eat anabolic French toast every day, the regular way. This though, this is better. The outside is so like firm and chewy and the inside's like a little soft, but wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but the whole like having something to dip it in just makes your meal like five times more fun. The best part about recipes like this, man, like I always say, I refuse to have little tiny portions. I'm not having one little slice of toast with an avocado on it and starving all day. I'm eating a mountain of food, getting a ton of protein in, loving what I'm doing. And honestly, I don't know how you can lose with that mindset, man. Mmm, that one was, Extra special. Wow. For real. I love anabolic French toast. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I eat it every single day. I post it every single day. This though, another level. You got to try this one. You got to tag me. Let me know what you think. Because this one, God, I'm telling you, this one, it's a little more work, but it's worth it. Give it a shot. And the macros in this entire recipe, if you eat every single one of these, right, it's 371 calories, only three grams of fat, 38 grams of protein, and 48 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. Perfect breakfast, perfect midnight snack, perfect to make it, put it in a Tupperware container, put a little side of syrup in a cup, take it with you, man. Mmm. This tastes like my childhood right here. Mmm. If you're worried about not getting enough greens in, in your diet, to be honest, I haven't had a green in ugh, been quite a long time. But what I do do is supplement with one scoop of greens a day for health reasons. I don't think you need it. I don't think you really need to eat greens in general. I did carnivore for a while and felt great. So that's what I think. Listen to a doctor over me. I'm not a doctor. But all I'm saying is if you want to be safe, scoop of greens a day keeps the doctor away. Bonobossorance.com or Amazon.com with free two-day shipping. Use code RGF10 for a discount. I Let's get another dipper. Oh, the cinnamon. 
the sugar infused taste, the way it's crispy. Oh wow, it's another staple for me. I understand there's a lot of crazy information about diets out there. I used to be brainwashed by all of it too. I thought you needed a certain amount of vegetables, you needed to eat whole wheat over white and there were bad carbs, all this crazy stuff. But let me tell you something, let me simplify your life right now, all right? Look me in the eye and listen close. The only two things that matter for weight loss and building muscle are eating enough protein, which for most people, I mean, if you're eating like this, you're gonna get enough protein in a day. So you don't even really have to think about it, but you need to be eating enough protein. And after that's done, just watch your calories, man. Eat the amount of calories for your goal. As long as you do those two things, figure out your total daily energy expenditure, subtract 500 calories from it. Eat those calories, use anabolic recipes to hit that level and don't go over it. Drink diet soda, drink all the zero calorie stuff you want. You're gonna succeed. You just gotta be consistent. It's the biggest thing, consistency. Everybody wants to try this stuff for a few days and then give up. But if you are consistent, it literally becomes effortless. You see results every single day. Like I said today, new low weigh-in, 172.8. It's the lightest I've weighed all year. And this is the most I've ever eaten. And this is the best diet I've ever been on, hands down. So two things, protein and calories. Don't let anybody else tell you different. As always, if you got the RJF recipe book, link in the description. This one is now in there, step-by-step -step instructions. It's pretty easy, but I put every new recipe in there. So if you don't have the book, all you gotta do is get it one time. It's got every recipe I've ever done and every future recipe, keep adding to it. It's gonna be a little handy guide in your pocket, man. You can't lose with it. So check out the link in my description. And if you want more hands-on coaching, I'm gonna make you a meal plan, tell you exactly what to eat, make it stupid simple, calories, everything. You just gotta follow what I lay out. RomeJaysFitness.com. I can make you a meal plan. I make you a program. I'll tell you exactly what to do, man. If you want results and you want a foolproof way to get there, do that. And then just listen to what I say and don't give up on me. You're gonna get there no matter what. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. I know we're insanely close to half a million subscribers. So subscribe if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys as always. Comment anything down below. I don't care what you put down there. Anything. It helps the algorithms, guys. And the algorithms like us lately. Still don't know why, but hey, I'm cool with it. Thank you guys as always. And until next time, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Don't sleep on these, son.